Right, so... I'm sorry, can we have more, um... So, you've come onto the show to talk a bit about your career? Yes, I've had, um, quite a lot of experience, I suppose, with television, and um, certainly, and uh, theatre. That's where I started off. Um, one of my main themes, actually, is, uh, my show, my television show, uh, which is still on, uh, on Monday nights at 8, and that is, um, a bedtime rhyme, uh, which is for younger children, really, and I, um, I read out poems that are sent in by people, what are viewers. Yes, I, I, well, I read out the poems as the show goes on. And presumably you check through it before you read it no, out. No, no, I just read them. I send the poem, and I read the poem out loud to the audience, and they interpret it as they will. Okay, well, we've actually got a clip um, from A Bedtime Run. It's last week's episode. Yes. Uh, okay, well, here it is. Hello. My name's Ivan Stringer. And welcome to a bedtime rhyme. Tonight's poem has been sent in by Amanda, who lives in Overstone. Thank you, Amanda. And now, here is Jimmy Tog. Jimmy Tog had a pet dog. He'd had it since it was a pup. Its name was Trevor, and it was ever so clever. It could roll, lie down, and sit up. Then one cold, rainy day, it wouldn't move or play. What a most tragic surprise. It was quite easy to tell Trevor was not at all well, as streams of blood came down from his eyes. Jimmy's parents said he should go up to bed. Poor Trevor would have to be put down. Up the stairs he did rise with tears in his eyes and in the place of a smile, a frown. Jimmy awoke after several nightmares because of a clanging of pots which came from downstairs. The sudden loud noises gave Jimmy a fright. He got up and got changed because it was ever so strange that his parents should be cooking in the middle of the night. Trying hard not to weep, down the stairs he did creep, and pushed the door as light as a feather. He stared through the crack, but then jumped quickly back. His parents were sat e eating Trevor. What a lovely poem. Thank you, Amanda. We love you. Join us for tomorrow's bedtime rhyme at the same time at eight o'clock. Thank you all. Good night.